Okay, so we're going to transcribe some AVCH footage, AVCHD footage using Final Cut Pro. Here we go. I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro. This is for withinreachmovie.com, and this is going to be the transcription process sampling that we're doing. We're not sure this is going to be our actual process, but this is something we're playing around with right now. Okay, so I'm going to use log and transfer to open up AVCHD files shot with our Canon Vixia HF10 camcorder. We go open, um, and then we go to. So in case you didn't see that again, there's up in this little upper right, upper left hand corner, there's a, a folder with a plus sign. So it's add a folder. Click on your external hard drive or wherever you're storing the media. We're storing it on within Reach Media 2 on this drive. And I'm going to go down, I'm going to open up some footage of Earth Haven Eco Village in North Black Mountain, North Carolina. And I know it's in this folder, so I just click on that. Uh, open it. All right, and down here I want to get some um, transcription going on this guy talking about building Cobb. So here he is. That's the first part of the clip. All right, now I have a um, I'll close the quick QuickTime player. I have a uh, folder. I mean a file, a log file called. Um, uh, a transcription log, oh, and I've got that going on in Numbers, which is Apple's version of Excel. Great program. So here we've got things such as, um, oops, um, let's see, back up here. Let me so you can see what I've got going. We've got cells for hard drive, folder, file name. Duration, date, type, A roll or B roll, community shoot location. So, you know, this would be at, it would say um, Earth Haven Eco Village, Black Mountain, North Carolina. The interviewee or main subject's name, a thumbnail, which looks like these. So, I'm going to do a screen, a, a screen capture for that and insert it in there. Some keyword tags. All right. And then the actual transcription, well, the actual transcription goes right in here. And then over here, we've got our highlight clips. Now, ideally, we would have our time code in there at the start of each one, but I was rushing through these and didn't do that. So here we go. We're going to go back and enter all this data in there. All right. So I know chronologically the clip that I'm looking at goes somewhere between this subject and this subject's interview. So I'm going to click here, right click, add row above. And you notice that her clip icon or thumbnail is already in that spot. That's because that's a hot area. So I can just go in and create a new screen capture and drop it in there. So we'll do that right now. So on a Mac you just hit Command Shift 4. I'm not sure what you would use on a PC, but our whole team has Mac, so that's okay. Alright, it just created a clip um, or a, a hot, you know, a, an image. So I'm going to go into my finder, grab that image, picture one. Here we go. You can test it. Alright, good, it worked. And I'm just going to drag it and drop it right there. There you go. Alright. So what hard drive are we using? Well, we got to record that. We are using within reach team main drive 2. All right, so let's type that in. Within reach main or oh, I'm sorry, within reach road team main drive 2. All right. What folder are we in? Well, that is easy. You just go up and you um, click on the folder name and then click it again quickly and then it don't double click, but just click it lightly twice and then copy and paste it right in there. What clip number are we looking at? Well, we were in Final Cut Pro when we saw that. We're on clip number 46. Clip number. And often your choices will pop up if you've started typing before. 
that we have a new to clip to type in. All right, and your time code is really important. Time code is easy to find and copy in Final Cut Pro. This is the clip's entire length, so we're going to copy that. And over here is your clip's locate where your time code is for where you're at in the clip location, and that's going to come in handy for when, for example, um, you know, there's um, a new person talking, you're going to record that, or if you're at your highlight clip, you're going to want to copy that code in as well. So here we go, paste that in there. The date of the cl of the clip, all right, when was the date? Well, it's not in Final Cut Pro, so where you're going to find that is, um, you know, the, just go to the clip in, um, all right, so in Final Cut, in, in ABC HD footage, there's this advanced file structure format, and it looks like this. So when you go into your folder, there's a folder called private, then it says ABC HD, and in the BM BDMV folder is where you're going to find your .mts files, which is what the Final Cut, what the actual ABCHD fi files are, the, me the, mi the main chunk. So then you go into your BM BDMV, and then you go into Stream, and there they are. There's your MTS files. And so in Final Cut Pro, we saw it was Clip 46. It would be called 46.mts. All right, and then you scroll over, find the date. It's May 13, 2009. So go ahead and type that in your numbers. 513 slash 2009. That's the format I like to use. That format right there. Alright, is it A footage or B footage? Well, A is for interviews. B roll is for, you know, nature shots or filler shots. Alright, what community was this at? This was at Earth Haven Eco Village, North Carolina. All right, and what is our interviewee's name? All right, well, we don't know until if you were smart when you were filming, the first thing you did was have the interviewee say his name. So we did. Let's see it. Say and spell your name for the camera. Shmizbitz <laughs> Mafuchka. All right, that's a joke. That's how you want your subtitles? That's what you want on your subtitles? Yeah. How do you spell that? I have no idea. Uh, I'm Steve O'Brien. S T E V O, correct. B O. So let's get that in there. S T E V O. And what was the rest? R O D M E O. B R O D. Oh, let's go back a little bit more. I'm I'm got a short memory. S T E V O, correct. B R O D M E R K E O. Whoa! All right, that's a good one. Let's just do that a little bit at a time. Okay, pause. Let's go back. You can use your space bar to play. Oh, correct, correct. Play and pause. So I'm going to start using the space bar instead of clicking play every time. So let's get back a little bit. And that was quite a mouthful to remember. So that often happens with transcription. So it's important to get the skill set down to go back and forth real easy. And I'm still working on it. But it'll, I'm sure it'll come a lot better as I start transcribing a lot more. Here we go. Space bar. Oh, all right. Let's go back a little further. I didn't quite get that. I'm Steve O. Broadmoor. S T E V O. Correct. B R O D. B R O D. Oh. B M E R K E L. M E R K E O. It sounded like, but let me go back and make sure. Let me go back a little bit further so I can hear him pronouncing the name again. S T E V O, correct. B R O D M E R K E L. K E L. All right. Let me totally just confirm that. This is a long, tedious process for names, but for transcription, it's a lot easier. <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I'm Steve O. Broadmoor. S T E V O, correct. B R O D M E R K E L. All right. B R O D K M E R K E L. Great. We got that in there. All right. I'm going to stop this clip. It's getting too long. And we'll start number clip number two and we'll actually get into the transcription process.